Hi, this is Sam Botstein. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and check us out at MachineSkills.com for all our machine tutorials. Today we're going to take another look at reversing sounds, but this time we're going to delve a little bit more into automating parameters within the sampler in machine. We're not going to be using any effects and we're not going to be duplicating sounds in order to reverse them. We're simply going to use the second page of the sampler, this pitch slash envelope page, and we're simply going to turn the knob on our machine or machine studio controller in order to reverse the sound. So let's hear what that could sound like. We currently have this sound selected and it sounds like this. And reversed, it sounds like this. Now notice that it doesn't reverse the sound during playback. It waits until the next playback to actually reverse the sound. So we can actually use this to our advantage. So when we're playing this, we can essentially turn it to reverse any time after it starts to play, and then it'll be reversed the second time around. So one thing that we could do is we could hold down the auto button on our machine studio or the auto write button on our machine controller and actually record this automation. This makes working with reverse sounds really quick and easy. Next, let's look at further messing with this break by reversing more sounds. Let's stick to snare sounds for now. And here we're going to do the same kind of performance to have a pattern that is the clean break and then a pattern that has these two reverse sounds in them. All I'm gonna do is hold down the automation writing button on the machine controller and move reverse on and off. We can actually continue this on more sounds. So using automation tricks in machine, such as the one I just showed automating whether a sample is reversed or not, can actually help us to approach sounds that we would normally associate with trackers, like Renoise for example. And we are able to do this all within the machine software. Let's take a look at an example where we would have sounds in quick succession. This will be a little bit different in that we'll actually be able to hear, in some cases, the reverse sound right next to a non-reversed sound. For example, this hi-hat sounds really interesting in reverse. So we're going to actually do the same kind of automation recording just reversing the hi-hat and then turning it back to playing forwards again. One way to emphasize these reverse sounds is to play with their tuning. Now, in order to see where the tuning is actually back to zero, most people will want to start and end their sequence with the tuning of each sound at zero. I would recommend either hovering your mouse over the tune knob or just keeping an eye on the controller as you turn it. So here I'm going to try to emphasize the reverse sounds using the tuning. So I'm really going to try to tune down this sound and then these last two. So using these two techniques together, you can really quickly get started using modulation to create grooves in a way that simply sequencing hits never could. Two big effects to consider using together with these techniques are the sample rate reduction and the bit reduction. Let me show you what that can be like.
you get this really kind of crunchy lo-fi sound, which is a lot different than the built-in lo-fi effect. Let me know if this is useful for your productions and if you use them in any tracks lately. Make sure to check us out at machineskills.com and subscribe to us on YouTube for all our machine tutorials.